Hello and welcome to the first episode of Delver, a roguelike dungeon crawling game. Uh, I've played this game uh, a few times before. It's a, a ton of fun. Um, if you want to check out the game, I got links uh, for the website and the Steam page in the description. I'm going to be doing a brand new uh, save file, so we'll get started on that. Here we are. Find ourselves in the uh, the town is what they call it, even though it's just really an encampment outside the dungeon. Uh, there's a few tattered notes scattered about, I think three total. None of them really do anything important, but I mean you can pick them up and read them if you want. Uh, let's see, eyes for inventory by default. So we got three notes, um, a journal page. I think the bard is messing with my stuff. A book I brought with was replaced with another entirely, like I wouldn't even notice. The nerve of some people. Even my food was switched out. All of my scones are sweet rolls now. Just random banter from the from the uh, people out here at the camp. Any other note? Rumor says that this place guards the greatest artifact of the old mage empire. It's said to be powerful enough to bend and warp reality. Signed, N. And this one teaches you how to do battle. Yeah. We don't need any of these. So we're going to leave them here. Alright, um... Since I have no money can't buy anything from these guys, so I guess it's about time we head into the dungeon. Yeah, this game is in early access. It uh, passed in Greenlight a while ago, but um, and they're still updating it and changing things about the game. Picked up some ale. That cures you for, I think, 36 steps. What do I got here? Excellent dice, well, I'll save that. Oh, gotta love these wizards. Yeah, uh, wizards' spells in this game are loud and they're pretty. I wouldn't say annoying, but uh, I don't know. They can startle you if you're not not expecting it, that's for sure. We got a bat and a slime. Up, level up. So, uh, there's like generic uh, stats in this game. Uh, every time you level up, you can choose to put a stat point in one of these six areas. I find it easiest just to do like all attack up until you get to near, to near the end and then you can just start putting in health since nothing else really matters. Just picked up another wand. Two wands. Oh, I thought I saw something over there. There we go. Just drop my old dagger and got this short sword. This would be helpful. I gotta kill that bat up there still. Come on over here. Alright, well I guess he's gone. I have no idea where he went. I hear him flying around still. Oh, there, he, there he is. Ooh, nice dagger. Well, four to five. 
not as good as mine. I mean, yeah, this game, all the dungeons you play every single playthrough are completely random. Like, I actually haven't even seen this room before, and I've been through this quite a few times. So this is a new one. Oh, and this is a trap. They're little squares, and if you step on them, they go off, but if you're quick, you can just set it off without actually getting hit. There's a few different types of traps, as far as I know. There's that one, which is just flat damage. And then there's, uh, poison ones, and teleporting ones, and they just, it sends you to a random area in the dungeon, which can be bad, you get overwhelmed. Don't want to go that way, that's where I was already at. There's a map that you uncover as you play. Well, that was great. That's a teleporting one. Got myself another wand. Wand's always good. Don't have to get in something's face to kill it. It's a damage one. Poison one. Oh, there we go. Iron sword. I don't think. Oh, food. Can never have enough food. Basically, it negates poison if you have it and just heals you over time. I'm kind of low on health, I might as well eat something. Let's see, you got a decent fire wand. Keep all the nice wands for later. Alright. Poison trap. I'm surprised there's no monsters in here. Oh. Ah, uh, spoke too soon, I guess. I was up on the ledge, you caught me. Oh, trap door. Secret door. Oh, level up again. Get some more attack. Red potion. The way potions work in this game right now is... I don't... I mean, it makes sense. But it could be changed, I think. Uh, how it works is... Uh, all potions have question marks under their name like this purple potion and red potion. And the way it should work is after you drink one, the question marks will be revealed as to like what it actually is in the next uh, next next one you find. But instead they stay question marks and you just kind of have to memorize what they do. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. It keeps it keeps you having to pay attention, but uh, I don't know, it makes sense that it wouldn't do that. Down here, what's in here? Oh, hat. Bad hat. Zero. No. Yeah, I got it better than that already. I don't have bad pants though. Yeah, I like this dungeon setup so far actually. It's got a lot of tiny rooms, things to explore. And you're in the, like, I don't know, in the type area. This is usually random loot next to the beds. There's a trap under the table. That's interesting. Oh. Sneaking up on me? I don't think so. Oh, gold potion. That's another just random potion. And every playthrough, all the potions do something different. Like, they could do the same thing, but they're random. So... You just gotta test them, see what they do. There's five different potions, and only one of them is bad, so odds are you're gonna find one that's actually useful. Got some zombies in here. There's the green potion. Better pants than the ones I'm wearing. Not much. The only stats armor give you in this game is accuracy. 
It's either accuracy or armor class. I'm not honestly sure. But, um... Well, actually... It's that Whatever AC is. I want to say it's armor class because accuracy doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Alright, uh... I think that's it. And moving on. Yeah, it's attacking enemies, the best way to do it is a charger sword up like that. And you hold down the attack button and then unleash it as soon as you get close to the enemy. That way you won't miss because you're swinging like this you have a bigger chance to miss. And this is, this will hit always. And it, plus it hits harder so. I just picked up a bow. I don't have any arrows yet so it's kind of useless. Oop, better pants again. Another storm wand. Excellent storm wand. That's my favorite one. Storm wand's like the fastest damage. Um Nothing else good in here, it looks like. Nice trap. Not gonna get poisoned. Yeah, after you activate a trap, there's a refractory period. Oh, arrows. Perfect. Now I can use my bow. Anyway, yeah, every, every time you activate a trap, there's a period of time where uh, it won't go off again, so it's safe to stand on in case there's one blocking a doorway. Well, did I explore everything? No, I didn't. I missed something at the very beginning. Yeah, sometimes the maps in this game can be really big, sometimes they can be really small. This one's like a middle-sized one. Occasionally you get a map that covers this entire area, and it's just huge. It takes forever to explore. And the, the, there's a good and a bad thing about that. If you haven't played this game or seen the ending of the game, or been there yourself, I'm not going to spoil it. But, uh... Depending on how big the dungeon is, will affect the difficulty at the end. I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, we got another mage over there. I really wish you could block in this game. Like, get a shield or something? I don't know. He didn't hit very hard anyway. Got some gold and an apple. Oh! Oh, this guy snuck up on me. Got more arrows though, so I can start using those. I don't know. But bows are good in this, but they're either I really suck at using them or they're just inaccurate. <laughs> I don't want to say it's I suck at them because I feel like I don't, but maybe I do. I'll level up again. Let's get some health for now. A little safer. I love the storm wand. Ooh, what's that in there? What do we got in here? Oh, nope. Back up. We got another blue potion. Not a not a secret wall. Um another blue potion. All the blue potions. And a fine steel short sword. Mine's 5 to 8. 8 to 12. Huge increase. As if I wasn't one-shotting everything anyway, but I mean, I'm happy. And that's why you gotta explore the whole dungeon. I mean, not only do you get experience to level up, you can find amazing loot like this sword. And it'll really make the next however many levels easier. I think on my last playthrough I got hit by like five or more damage from one thing. It kind of ended my playthrough. It was unfortunate. Um, I guess I didn't have enough armor. Or I just... I don't know. <laughs> Did not end well. Another thing to mention about this is... 
after you clear every, clear a place, there's a chance that uh, enemies will respawn. Maybe not respawn, but new enemies will spawn. Uh, that will be in your way. Um, I think that's it. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I've explored everything on this level. It was a medium-sized dungeon. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I guess that'll be it. Uh, I'm going to cut here, and I will see you guys in the next video in uh, Dungeon 2. Take care.